11 days full of cinema. The 58th Thessaloniki International Film Festival hosted 183 films from 58 countries. There were also masterclasses, special events and many tributes. Let's see the highlights of this year's edition. The festival hosted a tribute to Ruben Ostland, who won the Golden Palm in Cannes this year with The Square. The film follows Christian, an art curator who tries to be a noble citizen, but when someone steals his mobile phone and wallet, an unknown side of himself is awakened. The 43-year-old Swedish director likes to turn ordinary life into cinema. I think of my films as almost like sociological examinations or uh, investigations. And I think that if you look at sociology, it's a beautiful topic because um, it's uh, there to look at us humans when we fail. And I think that I'm dealing with quite much the same things when I'm doing my scenes. You know, I'm trying to create a setup that is uh, easy to identify, but hard to handle. It's the seventh time that Alexander Payne comes to Thessaloniki. He presented his new production, Downsizing. It's about a couple who undertake a procedure to shrink their bodies so that they can start a new life in a new community. A comedy about human relationships in a gloomy environmental context. Matt Damon takes the lead role alongside Kirsten Wigg, who decide to abandon their stressful lives in order to get small, triggering life-changing adventures. I always think I make comedies, and this movie is no exception. My co-writer and I write for laughs, and I direct, I think, in a, I hope in a humorous way. But the story also has some serious, uh, you know, elements to it. So, I mean, I, I, I like uh, movies that make you laugh, and movies that make you think, and movies that make you cry a little bit. I decided to attempt the unthinkable, to reach 100 meters below the sea. Dolphin Man is a documentary about the life story and legacy of Jacques Moyol, the greatest freediver in history, whose life became the inspiration for Luc Besson's Le Grand Bleu. Jean-Marc Barr played Mayol in the film and narrated the documentary. The film talks about the man himself and about uh, the, yeah, the, the, the complications of being a, 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 in a passion like he was and what he sacrificed. And um, for me, uh, all of a sudden, there's a chance now that younger generations can find out that the guy that I was playing was just a character in a fable and that the real man is much more interesting. Director Ildiko Enyedi was also in Thessaloniki and was honoured with a tribute. And the film's secret ingredient had its world premiere before it participates in the first Tallinn Black Knights 2017 features competition programme. But what's new this year for the 58th Thessaloniki Film Festival? First, we had a theme for the films of the international competition program that was taking roots. This notion comes from Simone Weil's book, The Need for Roots. This book was our guide in the selection process. Second, we commissioned 14 young Greek artists to each produce an artwork inspired by a film in the competition, making their own comment on each film, and thirdly, we started a new competition for virtual reality films. The Greek Festival is the second film festival after Venice to introduce a new VR competition award. This year, 10 films proved that this is likely to be the new cinematic road for the future.